Assalamu alaikum, dear students. How are you? I hope you are doing very well. It's your English teacher, Aisha Omar. Today, we are going to have a new English lesson for grade 4. So, I hope you will enjoy it. In today's lesson, we are going to have an opening for this lesson and a review of the last lesson. And we will learn new vocabulary and then some grammar and today we will listen, read, write and speak also and at the end of this lesson we will make a summary and then you will have a task to do at home. So, what do you need for this lesson? You will need your English book, a notebook, a pencil, an eraser and some crayon. I will give you two minutes to prepare them. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we are about to start, so go fast, please. Okay, time's up. Ready? Did you bring your English book and the notebook, the pencil, and your eraser and some crayons? Good job. So, are you ready for the lesson? Yes? Great. But do you know what? I think we should listen to a song. What do you think? Well, I want to ask you to listen and to try to sing with a song, also to move your body, okay? We want some action. Great. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're sad and you know it, cry boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, cry boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're sad and you know it, cry boo-hoo. <laughs> if you're angry and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, and you really want to.
to show it if you're angry and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're surprised and you know it, say ooh ah. If you're surprised and you know it, say ooh ah. If you're surprised and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're surprised and you know it, say ooh ah. If you're surprised and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're surprised and you know it, say ooh ah. the song? Great. Did you have fun? Okay, I think now we are ready. Let's start our lesson. So, let's think about the date. What day is today? Is it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday? Good job. And what was yesterday? Well done. And what will be tomorrow? Good job. So, what's in a month? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, or December. Well done. It's April. Do you remember the weather words? How is the weather today? Tell me. Is it sunny? Cloudy? Rainy? Stormy maybe? Or foggy? Yes, it's sunny. And is it hot or cold? Good job. So, we will have a review over the last topic. So, we learned about vowels and we said that we have five vowels in English. A, O, U, E and I. And we started to learn about A sound and we said that we have short A and long A sound. The short A sound is A, like cat, hat, fat rat, mat, okay? And the long A sound, when we have A and E, a silent E at the end of the word, like bake, cake, snake. Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to learn new vocabulary. So I need you to focus. The first word, look at the picture and tell me, try to guess what word is it. What is the girl doing? She is skating. She is skating, yes. And what place is it? It's a park. Park. Great. And in, in the song of today's lesson, we clap our hands. So, clapping hands. Do you like this place? Do you know what its name? It's a circus. Circus. You can find animals, clowns, balloons, happy people, a place where people laugh. It's a circus. Say it. It's a circus. Great. And in the circus we can find a clown, great, a clown. Can you see his hat? What colors can you see in his hat? Good job. So you can see blue, yellow, red. And can, see, can you see his red nose? Great, he's so funny. And this one is skates. So these are skates. Well done. And the last word for today's lesson is friends. Friends. Okay, I will go over the words again. 
and I want you to listen and to try to say the word after me, okay? Skating, skate, a clown, a circus, park, clapping hands, and friends, friends. Okay, so it's your time to write the words in your vocabulary notebook. Please open it and write the words down. I will give you five minutes, okay? Go ahead. Two minutes left. Try to say the words while you while you are writing. Skating, skates, a clown, a circus, a park, clapping hands, and friends. Try to say it. One minute.
Okay, time's up. Are you done? Good. So now we are moving to our book. Please open your book, page 156. We are going to listen to Kate on Skate's text, and then we are going to read it together, okay? So, this is the text we are going to listen to. This is Kate. She loves to skate. She has new black skates. She is in the park. She is skating and clapping her hands. Kate is skating on one foot. Look at Kate. She is happy. She loves to skate. There is a man in the park. He is Kate's friend. His name is Jake. Jake sees Kate skating. He wants Kate to skate in his circus. Now Kate is in the circus. Kate is a skating clown. Kate is wearing a tall pink hat and yellow pants. She has a big red nose. She skates and skates all day. Kate loves to skate. She skates in the park and in the circus. So, after we listen to the text, it's your time to look at the picture and to try to tell me some sentences. What can you see in the picture? Think about it. So, who is this? This is Kate, and Kate is wearing a dress. Great. Where is Kate? Great. She is in the park, and there are two trees and a man. Great. The man is wearing a hat. Good job. So, I'm going to read the text and you can read it after me, okay? So, this is Kate. She loves to skate. She has new black skates. Can you see them in the picture? She is in the park. She is skating and clapping her hands. She is clapping her hands. Can you see it in the picture also? Kate is skating on one foot. One foot. We have two feet and one foot. Excellent, like in football. Great. Look at Kate. She is happy. She loves to skate. There is a man in the park. He is Kate's friend. His name is Jake. Hello, Jake. Jake sees Kate skating. He wants Kate to skate in his circus. Jake has a circus and he wants Kate to skate in the circus. Great. Let's continue. Now Kate is in the circus. Kate is a skating clown. Kate is wearing a tall pink hat and yellow pants. She has a big red nose, like the clown. She skates and skates all day. Kate loves to skate. She skates in the park and in the circus. Did you like the text? Okay, do you like to skate? Good. So, let's start answering the question. And to circle the right answer, okay? I need you to have a pencil with you and to solve the questions with me. So, where does Kate skate at the beginning of the story? Where does Kate skate at the beginning of the story? In the park, at school, at the zoo. 
red. She skates in the park. Can you see in the picture? Okay. What can Kate do on skates? What can she do? Bake cakes, clap hands, kick a ball, or skate on one foot. So, she can skate on one foot. Also, she can clap hands. Okay, she can clap her hands on one foot. Great. Who sees Kate skating in the park? Do you remember what does it mean? Who? Man. Who sees Kate skating in the park? A clown? A teacher? Jake? Jake! Great. And who is Jake? Jake is Kate's friend. He is her friend. Great. What does the man want Kate to do? What does the man want Kate to do? To do and to fight. Skate in his circus, play with a ball, fly about a kite. Yes, the man or Jake wants Kate to skate in his circus. Now move to page 157 to continue answering the questions. What does Kate wear in the circus? You can go back to the text and think about it. What is she wearing in the circus? Not in the park, in the circus. You can find the answer in the last paragraph here. Great. So, let's see the answer. She's wearing a tall pink hat and yellow pants, a short purple hat and an orange skirt, a tall black hat and long green pants. Remember the words of clothes. We have hat, pants, skirt. Okay. And which one is the correct answer? Great. She is wearing a tall pink hat and yellow pants in the circus. Well, do you like to draw? Now you are going to draw a picture. Do you remember what does it mean, draw a picture? Draw a picture means... Person, Sura, great, of Kate the Clown. So, I need you to think about how Kate looks in the circus and imagine the khayal, uh, how she looks and draw it, okay? Draw it here. You can use your pencil, your crayons, your colors, anything you like to do, and you can draw it here, okay? Okay, and the last question, number four. Listen to the story again. Underline words with long A sound in red and with a short A sound in blue. I will give you to do this at home, alone, okay? For question number five, copy the words that you underlined. Okay, underline means draw a line under the word, okay? In the correct column below okay we have a chart here and we have long a sound and short a sound the long a sound is in the a says its name like Kate Kate the a says its name and here we have short a sound like man man the a is just F okay so so, if we move back to 156, we can look for um, the words that have A, okay, like skate, long A in red, okay, long A, sound in red. For example, has, has is a long A? No, it's a short A sound, excellent, black, okay, and you continue like that. Skating, clapping, hands, for example, hands, the A didn't see its name, okay? Clapping also, it's a short A, okay? 
so you continue like that and after you finish underlying the words you are going to just copy the words in this chart according to long a or short a sound so when you are finished you will have skate skates jake and for short a we have has pants and hands black happy clapping a and hat did you find other words than this in the long a yes of course we have skating skate and that's it now it's your turn to read the text i will give you 10 minutes to read the text okay you can start now
Okay, I think we will finish in seven minutes uh, or eight, something like that, and we will continue um, next task. Well, I'm going to stop here. Okay. Uh, if you like uh, me to hear your uh, your reading, you can send me recording uh, in WhatsApp, uh, and I can uh, just uh, write notes for you. Okay. And for homework, um, you are going um, to solve page one hundred fifty one and 155 please circle uh, the pages number uh, and write them down in your notebook so you can solve them later on okay did you write it great so we are at the end of our lesson so here is a summary what did we do today so so Today, we uh, made an opening for this lesson and a review for the A sound and short A sound. And we learn new vocabulary and we will go over them again at, at the last, in the last uh, minute. And we learn some grammar like have, has, um, s, and verbs, okay? And some skills like listening, we listen uh, to songs and reading, writing, and speaking. Also, uh, at the end, we made that summary, and I gave you that task for today's lesson, which is page 151 and 100. Do you remember? 55. Excellent. So, today's vocabulary items were try to remember the word. What is the girl doing? Good job, she's skating. And this one? It's a park. Park, great. And clapping hands, great. Try to clap your hands now. One, two, three. Well done. Clapping hands. And a circus. And try to remember the next one. Is someone in the circus? Yes, it's a clown. Good job. And these are skates. Skates, okay? We have skate as a verb and a noun. And we have skates, okay? Skates is a noun. And the last one is friend or friends so remember to do your task and you can send it to me that's all for today's lesson i hope you enjoyed ramadan kareem have fun see you soon goodbye